for the present-day companies see Rolls-Royce PLC and Rolls-Royce motor cars. For other uses, see Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce Limited is a renowned English car manufacturing company and later, aero engine manufacturing company founded by Charles Stuart Rolls and Sir Frederick Henry Royce on March 15, 1906 as the result of a partnership formed in 1904. In 1971, Rolls-Royce was crippled by the costs of developing the advanced RB211 jet engine, resulting in the nationalization of the company as Rolls-Royce Limited. In 1973, the car division was separated from the parent company as Rolls-Royce Motors. Rolls-Royce Limited continued as a nationalized company until it was privatized in 1987 as Rolls-Royce PLC. History In 1884, Henry Royce started an electrical and mechanical business. He made his first car, a two-cylinder Royce 10, in his Manchester factory in 1904, and was introduced to Charles Rolls at the Midland Hotel, Manchester on May 4 of that year. Rolls was proprietor of an early motor car dealership, C.S. Rolls & Company in Fulham. In spite of his preference for three- or four-cylinder cars, Rolls was impressed with the Royce 10 and in a subsequent agreement of December 23, 1904 agreed to take all the cars Royce could make. There would be four models, a 10 HP, two-cylinder model selling at A395 pounds, a 15 HP three-cylinder at A500 pounds, a 20 HP four-cylinder at A650 pounds, a 30 HP six-cylinder model priced at A890 pounds, all would be badged as Rolls Royces and be sold exclusively by Rolls. The first Rolls-Royce car, the Rolls-Royce 10 horsepower, was unveiled at the Paris Salon in December 1904. Rolls-Royce Limited was formed on March 15, 1906, by which time it was apparent that new premises were required for production of cars. After considering sites in Manchester, Coventry, Bradford and Leicester, it was an offer from Derby's Council of Cheap Electricity that resulted in the decision to acquire a 12.7 acres site on the southern edge of that city. The new factory was largely designed by Royce, and production began in early 1908, with a formal opening on July 9, 1908 by Sir John Montague. The investment in the new company required further capital to be raised and on December 6, 1906 a £100,000 of new shares were offered to the public. In 1907, Rolls-Royce bought out C.S. Rolls & Company. During 1906 Royce had been developing an improved six-cylinder model with more power than the Rolls-Royce 30 horsepower. Initially designated the 4050th HP, this was the company's first all-new model. In March 1908 Claude Johnson, commercial managing director and sometimes described as the hyphen in Rolls-Royce, succeeded in persuading Royce and the other directors that Rolls-Royce should concentrate exclusively on the new model, and all the earlier models were duly discontinued. After the introduction of the Phantom model in 1925 this 40-50 model was referred to as the Silver Ghost. The new 40-50 was responsible for the company's early reputation with over 6,000 built. In 1921, the company opened a second factory in Springfield, Massachusetts in the United States, where a further 1,701 Springfield Ghosts were built. This factory operated for 10 years, closing in 1931. Its chassis was used as a basis for the first British armored car used in both world wars. After the First World War, Rolls-Royce successfully avoided attempts to encourage the British car manufacturers to merge. Faced with falling sales of the 40-50 the company introduced the smaller, cheaper 20 in 1922, effectively ending the one-model policy followed since 1908. In 1931 Rolls-Royce acquired the much smaller rival carmaker Bentley after the latter's finances failed to weather the onset of the Great Depression. From soon after World War II until 2002 standard Bentley and Rolls-Royce cars were often identical apart from the radiator grille and minor details. In 1933, the color of the Rolls-Royce radiator monogram was changed from red to black because the red sometimes clashed with the coachwork color selected by clients, and not as a mark of respect for the passing of Royce as is commonly stated. Rolls-Royce and Bentley car production moved to Crewe in 1946 where they began to assemble complete cars with bodies from the Pressed Steel Company for the first time. 
previously they had built only the chassis, leaving the bodies to specialist coach builders. Cars, chassis only, Noah are built body until Silver Dawn, 1904 a Euro 0610 HP, 1905 a Euro 0515 HP, 1905 a Euro 0820 HP, 1905 a Euro 0630 HP, 1905 a Euro 06 V8. 1906 a Euro 25 and 40 50th Silver Ghost, 1922 a Euro 29 20, 1925 a Euro 29 and 40 50th Phantom, 1929 a Euro 36 20 slash 25, 1929 a Euro 35 Phantom 2, 1936 a Euro 38 25 slash 30, 1936 a Euro 39 Phantom 3, 1938 a Euro 39 Wraith. 1946 a Euro 59 Silver Wraith, 1949 a Euro 55 Silver Dawn with bodies by Pressed Steel Company, Cowley, 1950 a Euro 56 Phantom 4, 1955 a Euro 65 Silver Cloud Standard Saloon with bodies by Pressed Steel Colorado, 1959 a Euro 68 Phantom V, 1968 a Euro 92 Phantom 6, Chassis by Rolls Royce Motors after 1973. The following cars use unitary construction and have no separate chassis. 1965 A Euro 80 Silver Shadow Standard Saloon, totally are a built car, built by Rolls Royce Motors after 1973. 1980 A Euro 98 Silver Spirit Standard Saloon, built in entirety by Rolls Royce Motors. 1998 A Euro 2002 Silver Seraph Standard Saloon. Built in entirety by Rolls Royce Motors, the next Rolls Royce model, the Rolls Royce Phantom was built by Rolls Royce Motor Cars. Bentley models, chassis only, 1933 a Euro 37 Bentley 3 a 1/2 L, 1936 a Euro 39 Bentley 4 a 1/4 L, 1939 a Euro 41 Bentley Mark V aircraft, Rolls Royce thrust measuring rig, Rolls Royce Mustang MKX. Aero engines. In 1907, Charles Rolls, whose interests had turned increasingly to flying, tried unsuccessfully to persuade Royce and the other directors to design an aero engine. When World War I broke out in August 1914, Rolls Royce were taken by surprise. As a manufacturer of luxury cars, the company was immediately vulnerable, and Claude Johnson thought the bank would withdraw its overdraft facility on which Rolls Royce depended at that time. Nevertheless, believing that war was likely to be short-lived the directors initially decided not to seek government work making aero engines. However, this position was quickly reversed and the company was persuaded by the War Office to manufacture 50 air-cooled V8 engines under license from Renault. Meanwhile, the Royal Aircraft Factory asked Rolls-Royce to design a new 200 HP engine. Despite initial reluctance they agreed, and during 1915 developed the company's first aero engine, the 12-cylinder Eagle. This was quickly followed by the smaller six-cylinder Hawk, the 190 HP Falcon and, just before the end of the war, the larger 675 HP Condor. Throughout World War I, Rolls-Royce struggled to build aero engines in the quantities required by the war office. However, with the exception of Brazil Straker in Bristol the company resisted pressure to license production to other manufacturers, fearing that the engine's much admired quality and reliability would risk being compromised. Instead the Derby factory was extended to enable Rolls-Royce to increase its own production rates. Around half the aircraft engines used by the Allies in World War I were made by Rolls-Royce. By the late 1920s, Aero engines made up most of Rolls Royce's business. Henry Royce's last design was the Merlin Aero engine, which was first flown in prototype form in 1935, although he had died in 1933. This was developed from the Air engine, which had powered a record breaking Supermarine S 6 BC plane to almost 400 mph in the 1931 Schneider Trophy. The Merlin was a powerful supercharged V-12 engine and was fitted into many World War II aircraft, the British Hawker Hurricane, Supermarine Spitfire, de Havilland Mosquito, Avro Lancaster, Vickers Wellington. It also transformed the American North American P-51 Mustang into a competitor for the best fighter of its time, 
its engine a Merlin engine built by Packard under license. Over 160,000 Merlin engines were produced, including over 30,000 by the Ford Motor Company at Trafford Park, Manchester. During the war most Rolls-Royce flight testing of engines was carried out from Hucknall Aerodrome. The Merlin crossed over into military land vehicle use as the Meteor powering the Centurion tank among others. Many Meteor engines used engine blocks and parts that failed requirements for high-performance engines, but were suitable for use in the derated 650 HP Meteor. Rolls-Royce came into jet turbines through an exchange of assets with Rover and in the post-World War II period Rolls-Royce made significant advances in gas turbine engine design and manufacture. The Dart and Time turboprop engines were particularly important, enabling airlines to cut times for shorter journeys whilst jet airliners were introduced on longer services. The Dart engine was used in Armstrong Whitworth AW660 Argosy, Avro 748, Fokker F-27 Friendship, Handley Page Herald and Vickers Viscount aircraft, whilst the more powerful time powered the Braguet Atlantique, Transall C-160 and Vickers Vanguard, and the senior N-4 hovercraft. Many of these turboprops are still in service. Amongst the jet engines of this period was the RB-163 Spey, which powers the Hawker Sidley Trident, BAC-111, Grumman Gulfstream II and Fokker F-28. During the late 1950s and 1960s there was a significant rationalization of all aspects of British aerospace and this included aero engine manufacturers. In 1966 Rolls-Royce acquired Bristol Sidley and incorporated it as the Bristol Sidley Division. Bristol Sidley, with its principal factory at Filton, near Bristol, had a strong base in military engines, including the Olympus, Viper, Pegasus and Orpheus. They were also manufacturing the Olympus 593 MK610 to be used in Concorde in collaboration with Snegma. They also had a turbofan project with Snegma, Leavesden Aerodrome. Watford was originally owned by the Ministry of Defence and used during World War II for the manufacture of Mosquito and Halifax aircraft. For a number of years, Rolls Royce used the site for the manufacture of helicopter engines until the site closed in June 1993. The former Rolls-Royce factory at Watford is now known as the Leavesden Film Studios and has produced world-famous films such as James Bond, Star Wars and Harry Potter. Military Vehicles Diesel Engines Rolls-Royce started to produce diesel engines in 1951. Initially, these were intended for heavy tractors and earth movers but, later, they were installed in lorries, railcars, diesel multiple units and sentinel shunting locomotives. Rolls-Royce took over Sentinel's Shrewsbury factory for diesel engine production in 1956. The Rolls-Royce diesel business was acquired by Perkins in the 1980s. Torque converters, the rail car engines were often used with twin-disc torque converters which were built by Rolls-Royce under license from Twin-Disc of the USA. Twin-Disc is the name of the company and does not describe the construction of the torque converter. Nationalization Financial problems caused largely by development of the newer B211 turbofan engine led a euro after several cash subsidies a euro to the company being nationalized by the Heath government in 1971. The new company had among its board members Lord Cole, Sir Arnold Weinstock, Hugh Conway, Dr. Stanley Hooker Sir William Cook, Sir St. John Elstub, Sir Charles Ilworthy. Delay in production of the RB211 engine has been blamed for the failure of the technically advanced Lockheed L1011 TRI Star, which was beaten to launch by its chief competitor, the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. In 1973 the motor car business was spun off as a separate entity, Rolls-Royce Motors. The main business of aircraft and marine engines remained in public ownership until 1987, when it was privatized as Rolls-Royce plc one of many privatizations of the Thatcher government. Rolls-Royce of America Rolls-Royce of America Incorporated was formed by Rolls-Royce to meet the massive and growing U.S. car market by building a plant in Springfield, Massachusetts. Their first chassis was completed in 1921. The Phantom I produced by the Springfield plant was superior in regards to its more elegantly proportioned and well-engineered coachwork. This was most likely because the coach building was provided by Rolls-Royce Custom Coachwork, 
and later by Brewster & Company at the Brewster Building in Long Island City, New York. The Silver Spurs Springfield edition was made to commemorate the original Rolls-Royce of America plant 75th anniversary. See also, related lists, list of aircraft engine manufacturers, notes, the Silver Ghost. This car was ordered with its Barker body painted silver specifically to publicize their new 4050th horsepower model which ran with extraordinary stealthiness. Its name the Silver Ghost was carried on a special Rapusa copyright plaque on its dashboard. After the arrival of the Phantom model in 1925 the 40-50 cars were known as Silver Ghosts to distinguish them but this car was the only car entitled to the name. References External links Video review of 1958 Silver Cloud I. Fine examples of Rolls-Royce vehicles on display at the National Motor Museum, Bewley, Rolls-Royce 1000, Lessons for Tomorrow from the Old Rolls-Royce A 1973 Flight Article by Francis Rodwell Banks.